In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to use CSS to draw a horizontal and a vertical line. So the simplest way to get a line with CSS is to use the border property of an element to essentially draw a line where that element takes up space in the page. So this usually works best with block level elements, but you can use it on inline elements as well, as long as you're specifying a width, or alternatively if there's already some content within that element. So let's write a class to draw a line. So we simply write a border property that's got a width and a colour that we'd like to see on our line. And I'm going to set this element to a block level element so that it takes up 100% of its parent's width. So let's add that into our markup. See now you can see our line appearing in between the two paragraph elements. And just to show you what I mean by setting the display to block, as we're not using a block level element by default because span is an inline element, it doesn't actually take up any width on the page. Of course we could have just assigned this class to a block level element like a div, but just to show it's required to get the line to be drawn across the page. You can also play with the properties of the border as well to give you a different effect. For example, we can make it thicker. And we can go for a dotted or dashed line. So let's have a look at how you do a vertical line. So this time I'm going to create a border on the left part of the block level element. And let's add that into our markup. And you'll notice it doesn't appear immediately and that's because we need to give it some height so that the browser knows how much space it should take up on the page. So because we've used the border left property, the line is appearing at the far most left part of the element that we've set it up on. So if you wanted to adjust where it appears on the horizontal axis, you could for example adjust its margin properties. So here just by giving it a one pixel width and setting it a margin of top and bottom to zero and left and right of auto, that vertical line element is centered in the middle of the page. It's also worth pointing out that if you only want a simple horizontal line, you can use the HR tag in your HTML markup, which the browser will use to render a horizontal line. So obviously the styling's not that flexible with this, but you can always apply your own classes that you've set up to the HR tag. And of course using that tag is a little bit more semantically correct, so it may help you from an accessibility point of view. So there you have a few different ways of how to draw a line with CSS.